Hey there, welcome to this Yoga for Cyclists video. My name is Kolly. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're doing really well today. Um, we're going to do a kind of short and sweet class and it's going to focus really on just uh, releasing a little bit of tension in all of the muscles that you're going to feel at the most from cycling. So think about quads and glutes primarily. We'll also think about stretching out the hamstrings um, as well. Uh, I know there's a little bit of kind of slouching down whilst you're cycling so we'll think about opening out the chest um, bring a bit of spinal mobility into it uh, as well hopefully this is something that you could maybe come to once every week every couple of weeks or perhaps after a ride or the day after um, just to kind of keep you in check so you can come back stronger when you come back on the road um, nice one so we'll begin lying down on our backs make yourself comfortable Think of really kind of sprawling the legs nice and wide, sprawling the arms out, and it may even be worth just to kind of get out, get out the way any fidgeting, and then find a little bit of stillness here. You can relax the back of the head, the wrists, and the ankles. Just let everything feel heavy, soft. Maybe closing your eyes, and just finding a bit of stillness before we get moving. Just time to start to observe and notice how you're feeling. Time to sharpen your focus and kind of bring it in rather than have it anywhere else. Just taking a step back from whatever you were doing previously and starting to tune into not only the body and how it feels but also the breath. So perhaps spend 30 seconds or so following the breath in and out of the body starting to smooth it out, starting to slow it down starting to soften it and really just kind of giving it your undivided attention and you can stay as long as you need, hopefully even just 30 seconds of stillness will calm and slow the body down so much so that when we come to move throughout this class your movement is considered and controlled and not rushed so whenever you're ready let's bring the knees towards your the chest and grab hold of them and start to bring just a little bit of movement here you can draw some circles with the knees one knee going clockwise and the other week another knee going anti-clockwise maybe big circles maybe small ones quick or slow change direction whatever feels good just notice how what is up with the legs today before taking the left foot down and we'll place the right foot on top of the left thigh reclining pigeon um, or run a stretch and flex your right foot thread right hand through the gap in between your legs and interlock fingers around left shin or left thigh really great one just to tap into the glutes here you can draw the left knee towards your chest maybe lift up the head and I recommend just kind of staying in it for at least three or four breaths that breath will be there for your focus um, but it also be there to release tension to soften up the muscles that hopefully is is kind of needed in your own time switch it up left foot right thigh see if you can keep the feet in the air as you switch between the two left hand will thread go ahead and grab it in now if you're anything like me and you're kind of really reaching and kind of trying to get as much as you can out of it see if you can just sit back from doing that and find a sweet spot where you're challenging yourself but not pushing it too far relax shoulders relax face and breathe and as you come out of it, let's take hold of the backs of the knees. We'll roll forwards and backwards and we'll come up to a seated position and then to our all fours. So you can do that all in one if you want. And then just continue to move here. It might be nice to move into the, the bum and the hips. Circles there. Um, figure of eight with your upper body. And always worth doing a few cat cow poses whatever you're up to it's a great sort of movement just to keep the spine in a healthy place to lengthen out the muscles in the front side of the body and also the back total winner so whenever you're ready shoulders above the wrists let's take a breath in to soften the belly down open out your chest fully look forwards and then with the uh, exhale chin back in towards chest push with the hands around the back so there's an inhale to open out to your cow 
bum in the air, back is arching. Then with the exhale, chin back in, and the back is rounding. One more time. Try and really push with the hands, so you create space in between your shoulder blades, stretching the muscles on the back. And really, you can take as long as you want. Maybe a good time to focus on the wrists. Give them a little bit of a warm up. Give them a shake out to get the blood flow going down towards your fingertips. <clears throat> and then, whenever you're ready, let's take it up towards our downward dog. Place the toes on the mat, lift the bum and the hips. And straight away, I'm sure you're probably feeling something somewhere. So just have a little look around, have a play around. You can move into certain areas, bend your knees one at a time. Just kind of bring some um, length into the muscles on the backs of your legs. So if your legs are feeling tight, you're probably feeling it quite a lot here. Push with the hands. May even bring your feet a little bit closer towards your hands to get a bit more purchase. Don't worry too much about what the form of your downward dog looks like. And then maybe take a step back. And just to kind of contrary to that, thinking about your form, have a look at your fingers, make sure your fingers are really wide. Hands shoulder width, feet hip width. Relax your face, maybe look towards your shins. Let's reconnect with the breath here, long inhale and long exhale. Before lifting your right leg up very slowly. And even this, you should start to feel the stretch. You can bend the knee and kick heel to left sitting bone to really lengthen out your hip flexors on the right side here if you're up for it. Keep your shoulders square to the mat, draw your left heel down and point your right knee to the ceiling rather than to the side of the room. Before gazing forwards, and let's take a step in between our hands. Now if the foot doesn't make it there, just shuffle it forwards, all good. Drop the back knee and then lift up the arms, we'll come into a low lunge. Sweeping arms high, arms straight, biceps neck to the ears. You can shuffle the right foot forwards a little bit to go deep. And when I say going deep, we're really lengthening out the quadriceps on the left and the hip flexors, those muscles that connect upper to lower body. Great one here just to lengthen them. You can scoop your chest up towards the ceiling to exaggerate. Breathe into it, take your time and then relax your hands down and we'll place hands inside right foot shuffle the right foot out to the right and we'll target the groin a little bit more here by coming into a lizard pose and you can stay on your hands or maybe you've got a block and you can come halfway down maybe forearms are there if that is available to you otherwise just stay on your hands continue to focus on what's going on inside how you feel maybe arms come over to the left good one to go a little bit deeper into it or maybe arms go long and relax the head before coming back to center with your hands and we'll shuffle the right foot into the middle target the hamstrings half splits right leg straightens point toes to face kick your heel away from you lift your chest breathe into it and then roll forwards and let's take a step forwards we'll bring the left foot to the right foot at the front of the mat where we're going to find a chair pose so not only stretching out, we're going to strengthen too. So knees bent, bum goes down, chest goes high. So a good one to really strengthen up the glutes. You don't want to just primarily stretch. Look down at your feet, see if you can lift all ten toes up off the ground. Lift your arms a little bit higher. And then fold on down. And then step or jump back to your plank. Fingers wide, look slightly forwards. Kick your heels away from you, squeeze your glutes. Push with the hands to the space in between your shoulder blades. And then drop your knees, your chest, your chin. Relax the tops of your feet as you go down. And we'll enjoy a cobra by pressing with the hands, pressing with the tops of the feet, and lifting the chest up. Nice bend in the back here. You can kind of look left, look right. Roll your shoulders. Do whatever feels good just to kind of ease in. And then push back to your child's pose. Maybe even just staying here for a little bit to find some length in the back. Relax the head. Breathe slowly. And then make your way back up to your downward facing dog. Take your time. And we'll lift the left leg high. Again, bending the knee, kicking heel to right sitting bone this time. So you want to pay particular attention to your left shoulder, drive it down. Lift the left knee higher. Step forwards and then drop the back knee, breathe in, lift up the arms. Take as long as you need. 
Shuffle the left foot forward, shuffle the right knee back if you need to. Scoop up. With your exhale, just releasing a little bit of tension. And then relaxing hands. Let's take him inside left foot. And you can keep the left foot there if that is what you want to do, or maybe just shuffle it out to the side. This creates a bit of space for you to go deeper into the hips, the groin. Forearms might come down. Maybe arms go long. Maybe arms go out to the side. If you're going out to the side, left hand can go a little bit longer than the right. Breathe into the side body here. Come back to center. <clears throat> left foot back into the middle. And let's find our half splits. So left leg is straight, hips are square. You wanna drive the right hip forwards. Maybe lift up the chest. Breathe into it, take as long as you need. Maybe even test yourself, see if you can stay a little bit longer than usual. And then roll forwards. Lift the back knee off the ground. Step, chair pose. Thighs wanna be squeezing in. Maybe going a little bit lower this time. Can lift the arms a little bit higher at the same time. Little fingers can turn in towards each other, turning the wrists. Can find that space in between your shoulder blades as you do that. Look up high and then fold. Step back, jump back. Um, and let's take the knees onto the ground, relax the tops of the feet. Lower yourself with control. Elbows dig in as you go down. Breathe in to lift up. Cobra and then breathe out as you push back, child's pose. And we'll take a moment here, you can relax the crown, uh, the forehead, sorry, onto the mat. We'll get into the side body here as well by sweeping the arms and the hands over to the left. You can place the right hand on top of your left here. Relax your forehead down. Breathe deeply into that diagonal stretch from the fingers all the way down towards the right sitting bone, the right hip. Come back to center. Sweep your arms over to the right, and then same thing, left hand over right. You may want to put extra pressure on the left hip, left sitting bone, left shoulder. Come back to center, and then draw up, all fours, lift the knees, downward facing dog. We'll step or jump to the front of the mat. Forward folding at the front, you can bend your knees quite a lot, drop the head. Go ahead and grab your elbows and take a swing from side to side. Now I recommend bending your knees quite a lot to start with, just to find some space in your spine. So with the crown of the head venturing down towards the ground, a bit of space in the back. Then you can swing, maybe hands are down, you can brush the mat with your fingertips, or maybe your interlocking fingers around the back you can get into the shoulders here. Should feel nice before relaxing your hands down and we'll target the hamstrings a little bit. You can keep one knee bent, keep the left knee bent and then straighten out your right leg. You'll start to feel something turn on. Bend the right knee, straighten left leg. You can do that a couple of times. Glide between the two. And then maybe just adding a little bit extra. As you bend your left knee this time, place the left hand down, open your chest to the right and lift your right arm to the sky. Look up high. Same thing, right hand down, right knee bends, and then the left leg will straighten. Look up high, and then relax your hands. Gently uncurl, let's come to a standing pose. And we're gonna open out the chest by placing hands onto lower back, fingers on the bum, standing back bend. Anyone can benefit from this one. You can bend the knees a little bit, push the hips forwards as you open out. Look up towards maybe the ceiling or behind you. So of course, if you feel like you're slouching down over your bike, good one just to kind of reverse that. And you may find that you slouch down a lot of the time anyway, over the desk, over our food, over our phones, etc. Good one just to do a couple of times a day to reverse that. Come back up. And we're gonna fold. Recommend inhaling to lift the arms up first. Enjoy it. Open out your chest, lift up high, and then forward fold. And we're gonna take a, a kind of cross-legged forward fold from here. I want you to slide your right foot back behind you. Take it out to the outside of your left foot, and then shuffle your feet together so the little toes are touching. Now you may find that the right leg is straight here, and the left knee is bent quite a lot. So bend your left knee as much as you need. 
You could stay here, maybe there's a breath in to come up halfway, and then a breath out to fold. Otherwise, take a walk with the hands over to the left side. So we're gonna target like the ITB and the whole kind of right side of your body, really. So you can take the hands all the way over to the left. So your hands are kind of right angle to your feet. Um, and you can start to feel this down the right side of your upper body as well as your ITB. Take the right fingers a little bit further to exaggerate. Breathe. Come back to center. And we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. Take your time. You can shuffle the feet back to normal. And then left foot. Take it behind you and then shuffle it forward. So um, it's on the right side of your right foot. So left leg will be straight this time. And we'll take the hands out to the right. Create that right angle if you can. Don't worry if you can't. Don't force it. Really good one. Down the entire left side of the body. Come out of it slowly. Release the feet back to a normal position. And we'll step or jump back to our plank. And you can enjoy a vinyasa. If you want to go for a slightly more challenging version, maybe keep the knees in the air. Lower your chest to elbow height. Find your chaturanga. Strengthen the upper body, core and arms. You can push forwards. Come onto the tops of your feet. Keep your thighs off the ground. Squeeze your glutes. Upward facing dog. Otherwise, just take it to your cobra. Whatever feels good. And then push back to your downward facing dog. And we'll continue to find some space in the legs by finding a pigeon. So, so let's take the right leg high, bend the knee again, kick your heel towards your left sitting bone, and then we'll take right knee to a right wrist, place the shin down, and then we'll relax the back leg as well. So top of the foot goes down, straight left leg. Now you may find that you want to kind of shuffle the right foot forwards a little bit so it's heading towards your left wrist. Um, and you may want to look behind you, just make sure the leg, left leg is straight rather than caving in quite a lot. Hips want to be square here, could just stay here on your hands. Make sure your hips don't dump down on one side. Now in order to help that you may want to grab a book or a block just to slide it underneath the right glutes or the left hip. Lift the chest, stay here or take the hands out in front of you and you can come into a sleeping pigeon where the arms go long. Maybe so much so that your head goes down as well, but don't force it. Wherever you are, this is a wonderful stretch for your glutes on the right side, your hip flexors on the left side. Um, a go-to for any cyclists, without a doubt. See if you can sit just a little bit longer with it. Notice if there is any discomfort. Perhaps take your attention to your breathing instead. Follow the entirety of your inhale, follow the entirety of your exhale. And with that exhale, you can release and soften any tension that you can pick up on. Take as long as you need. You may even want to pause the vid, hold it a little bit longer. Otherwise, hands go down, untuck the left toes, back knee comes off the ground, sweep your right leg back, downward dog. Shake it out if you need to shake it out, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Left leg high, bend knee, sweep the knee to the left wrist, shin goes down, straight right leg behind you. You may need to shuffle around a little bit. And of course, if this is really inaccessible, Reclining pigeon like we did at the very beginning is going to target um, the glutes in the same way. Of course you won't get the hip flexor action that way, but um, it's definitely a good option. Stand tall with your upper body. Maybe you're going down. If you are going down, keep your neck and your spine long. And wherever you are, see if you can stay in that position for at least five breaths. Maybe even closing your eyes. Just allowing your attention to kind of smother the breathing to help you um, to help you keep the focus rather than letting the mind wander off elsewhere. Relax jaw, soften shoulders. And we'll come out of it slowly. We'll stay on the mat this time, so wherever you are, hands down. Left sitting bone, drop it on the ground. 
sweep your right leg forwards so your right leg straight shuffle it around a little bit left foot right thigh let's place it right in there shuffle so you can face your right leg so kind of shoulders torso square to the right leg breathe in lift up your arms and then breathe out fold over your right leg so maybe the right knees bend quite a lot here that'll help of course we're targeting the calf muscles hamstring so you may want to once you've found that length in your back where however far down you're into it then you can start to play around with straightening legs but don't kind of force it look over your right toes now if you want to go for something a little bit different here, you could take the left hand and grab how, grab the right, grab the outside of your right foot, taking a twist, right hand sweeps behind you, you can start to look behind you, just add something a little bit extra, come out of it with control, and we'll take the left foot outside right knee, make sure the sole of the foot is down, inhale lift up your right arm, Exhale, slide elbow down outside left knee and we'll twist. So you want to flex your right foot, lift up the chest, ultimately gaze over left shoulder. Don't take it too fast, don't rush it. And try not to place too much weight on your left hand behind you. Lovely one for the spine. Breathe. And then come out of it slowly. Let's straighten out our left leg and we'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. So right foot, left thigh. You can face your left leg. Breathe in, lift up your arms. Breathe out, fold. Look over your toes rather than your knee. No rushing. Point toes to the ceiling, if not your face. Maybe right hand grabs outside left foot. You can take that little twist here. before coming back to center, relaxing out of it, taking the right foot outside left knee. We'll lift up the left arm as we inhale, exhale, slide the elbow down the outside of the knee. You wanna think of twisting from your core here, your belly, open out your chest fully, and then look over the right shoulder, so gaze last. And again, not too much weight on the back hand, keep your head high and your breath soft. Come out of it slowly and we'll straighten both our legs. Forward folding over both of them at the same time. Lift up the arms, inhale. Again, bend your knees if you need to. Exhale, fold. Chest smothers the thighs, look over toes. Reach long with your arms and then hover on down onto your back. Slower the better, super controlled. Relax the back of the head, relax your arms. Take a moment. No rushing, bring the left knee to your chest. Right hand will grab the knee, you can sweep your left arm wide. And I really recommend focusing on left elbow, shoulder and wrist, sticking down on the ground as you take the knee with your right hand over to the right. Look to your left hand. A little stretch on the neck as you look to the left. Nice one for the glutes here again. Four or five breaths. Each time the exhale leaves the body, can you release a little bit more physical tension? Maybe releasing mental tension too, just letting go. Coming back onto your back, straight left leg. Kick the heel away from you, grab your thigh or your calf and then gently draw leg in towards face. Maybe head comes up off the ground. Breathe. And then try not to slam the leg down. Do it with control. Right knee comes up. Same thing on the other side. You may need to shuffle the bum back into the middle as you come into your twist. Make sure the right shoulder is down. Chest and pecs broad. Maybe looking to right hand. It's worth straightening out your left leg here. Kick your heel away and then shuffle your head so your neck is long. It's gonna increase the spinal length as you twist. Soften face.
and then come back to center and we'll bring both knees to the chest taking just the last little kind of couple of movements you can grab your knees again it may be worth even just kind of taking those little circles that we did at the beginning and noticing any changes thinking about the space hopefully that you will have discovered happy baby could be a good one knees out wide feet high grab the backs of your knees to get into it draw thighs down feet go high at the same time bit of a conflict there maybe you're staying there or you could grab the insides of your feet um, going a little bit deeper grab big toes one leg could straighten out to the side come back in straighten out the other maybe both legs at the same time breathe into whatever it is wherever it is and then we'll come back to center bring knees to chest one final squeeze wrap your arms around your legs and then let go sprawl your legs into a shavasana pose where we'll let the arms go down the legs go down the back of the head feel heavy a deep breath in through the nose as you exhale open your mouth and sigh it out closing your eyes and we'll stay here for a moment just a little bit of time to let your body kind of process what you've just done a little bit of time to let the body catch up and really just enjoy some stillness stillness that you that we all know it's very difficult to find. Just relax, close your eyes, see if you can keep your body still, and then also try and keep the mind still as well. Follow the breath in and out of your body to sharpen up your focus if you think that is needed. Of course stay a little bit longer if you would like to if you have the time otherwise just gentle movements start with the fingers and toes wrists ankles full body stretch reach long could move the head and the neck and as you take this kind of movement just have a little notice how you feel hopefully a bit of space inside the body a bit of balance coming back up to a seat final position here just taking a moment perhaps to close the eyes notice your efforts a little check in with where you are at and of course just thanking yourself for making the time you can take a final breath in to lift the arms enjoy the stretch and as you exhale forward close your practice seal over it namaste nice one Thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you for letting me guide you through the, the practice. As I say, it could be good. To, it could be something to do kind of on the regular, maybe once once a week or every couple of weeks after a long ride. Um, please feel free to have a little browse around the website as well. There's lots of other videos up there that might be of use to you. Uh, and do pass this video on to anyone that you feel may benefit from it, who spends a lot of time on the bike. Um, also, come say hey on Instagram at Mr. Collyman. Otherwise, take it very easy. Hope uh, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, you have a good one. And hope to see you soon. Bye for now.